Our, our speaker today is uh, Mr. Tim Kent, a uh, member of the local Sons of Confederate Veterans, a Confederate reenactor, and a veritable walking encyclopedia of Civil War history. Well, let me ask y'all a question first. Does anybody here know much about General Hood? Read much about General Hood? There's a, there's a, if you, have, I'll ask you, sir, have you, have you read that he was a drug addict? The man, I've heard huh? I've heard He's a drug addict, he was an idiot. What he did at Franklin and all that, well, he was, he was addicted to laudanum, which was whiskey mixed with uh, opium, was the theory. And yeah, we'll, we'll get more to that later. But uh, when the campaign begins, and this has never happened before in history of warfare, he's facing Sherman at Atlanta. He's lost Atlanta. And these two armies just basically go in opposite directions. Sherman says, if he wants Tennessee and have Tennessee, I'm going across Georgia. I'm not going to chase. Sherman's got a large, bulky army. He can't, he can't chase Hood's small forces around. So Hood says, I'm going to take Nashville. And when I take Nashville, I'm going into Kentucky. And I'm going to uh, conscript me some troops in Kentucky from the population and build my army back up. So what Sherman does is he leaves all these scattered detachments under General Thomas, who's a Virginian that stayed with the Union. And he tells Thomas, you gather all your forces together and you save Nashville. Now, the problem with that is, in Nashville, Thomas has got 8,000 troops and their government clerks that they've thrown in the field. These guys don't have any battle experience. They're not going to stop veteran Confederate infantry. He's got 8,000 in Murfreesboro. He's got 6,000 in Chattanooga. Part of those are black troops, and, and Thomas has no faith in them. He don't, he don't believe they'll fight, but he finds out better at Nashville that, yes, they will fight. And he's got Schofield, who has veteran troops, 23,000 men in Pulaski. He mistakenly believes that Hood has got to go through Pulaski to get to Nashville. This is the first mistake the Federal Army makes. And he's got another 12 to 15,000 in route from Missouri on boats under General Smith. So once he gets his army together, he's going to have 70,000 men. But if Hood can get to Nashville before he can get his army gathered, he's going to take it. And Nashville is Sherman's main supply base for all the western area of the country. It is the second heaviest fortified city in the country next to Washington, D.C. So if, if Hood can get there before Schofield and all these other guys, he can take Nashville. And this war could be prolonged another year, two, three. Hood actually believes he might win the war, turn it all the way around, but that's debatable. But he's a, Hood's plan when he leaves here with his basically 38,000 men is to get to Columbia and cut off Schofield. And because of the rain, the roads are a mess, he doesn't get there in time. Schofield beats him. 